this is DC Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! Since last time I used the cotton robe trick to its full extent and we got 74,000 gil. So, let's put some of that money to use now. Let's see, I want to buy a couple extra mage mashers for synthesizing some new stuff. Uh, new weapons for Zidane. I want to get three more rods to synthesize some coral rings later in the game. Let's see, we want to get headgear just primarily for learning a new ability, really, not even to actually equip it. We want to buy three extra steepled hats. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Also for synthing uh, yellow scarves. And I also want to buy four more glass armlets to synthesize, some, well, for equipping and for other synthesizing that we're going to be doing soon. So let's see, let's equip some of that stuff on Zidane there. Some new abilities to learn there. I kept the silver silk shirt on him for that one boss fight because, um, what was it? Uh, the Black Walth number three could cast thunder on me. So that helped a little bit, but eh, whatever. Okay, so now let's go over to the synthesis shop. I didn't really go over this in too much detail last time, so I'll try to do a better job of explaining it this time. You see, on the right there, it says required item. Those are the items you need in your inventory to send it together into one item. You pay the money, and you can get a new item from those. So, basically, uh, just do that. We got new weapons for Zidane called Thief Swords. I'll be explaining those when we get to that. Uh, let's see, I want to hold on to one cotton robe. That's what I did when I was doing that earlier. Let's get uh, our first accessories here. We got desert boots. Let's get one of those. Uh, I don't know if I'll actually use it, but I just want to have one anyway. Let's get a couple yellow scarves there and a couple glass buckles there as well. So that way we've got those to work on as well. Get a load of my hammer! Wow, really? Huh. Well, there you go. Was it a frying pan of love? No. No, probably just an ordinary frying pan. Wow. But anyway, we got some more silver gloves there if you didn't steal them from the boss earlier there, so. Okay, I think that's all the synthesizing we want to do. Uh, with those new weapons for Zidane there, uh, they have some new abilities for him, but I want to finish off, uh, well, Bandit or the Mithril Dagger for him first. We're not going to get any more new weapons for Zidane for quite some time, so I'm not worried about him being, like, two weapons behind on abilities there, so don't worry about that. Oh! I guess they're planning on getting some new stuff. Oh, no more Koopa Nuts. Nuts. Well, let's see what else they sell here. By the way, one thing I uh, sort of, well, I don't know if I touched on it earlier, but never sell your old equipment. And that's one thing I like about this game, because you never know if you're going to need an old piece of equipment to uh, synthesize something later in the game, like Mithril Swords! But, yeah. So never sell your old stuff, because you never know when you might need it. You'll have an item on disc one that you could synthesize something really good on disc four. Oh, and they made a reference to Palm here. Nice. I like how they referenced uh, the Final Fantasy IV twins in uh, Final Fantasy XIII with Palm Palm. That was nice. Always brings a, uh, a feeling of warmth to my heart whenever they reference the uh, twins there. Oh. Huh, what's that? Oh, yeah, I don't really know much about the card game in this one, so... Oh, well. Get a high potion over here. Check this house frequently throughout the game for those who are playing ahead, because uh, they restock these... Uh, or he restocks his stuff for, uh, for us to steal from him, I guess. Anyway, let's see what they got going down here. Uh, can't get into that house there. Why do you hate that so much? Oh, well, that's no good. Let's go over here to find a hidden treasure. A tent. I don't know how you're hiding that under a tree, but... Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Oh, well, there we go. I guess they, they run the show. Maybe they get a lot of uh, donations out of it for, uh, I don't know, charity hospitals or something. Let's see what they got going on here. Oh, well, yeah, that's what old people do, I suppose. God, I hope I never get old. Oh, 
Well, there you go. So what is the festival about? Oh, I guess it's, uh, hmm. They're not really telling us much about it. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. I guess it's kind of like uh, the running of the bulls, except you die. Well, people die in the running of the bulls, I guess, but yeah. Ignore what I just said in the last 10 seconds, viewers. Okay, well, that's everything we can do here in the business district, so now let's head to the, uh, what do they call it, a train station or something like that? Wherever they have all those uh, air cabs that take you up around the city there. We're heading there now so we can explore more of the city. All right. Oh, and they got more of these soldiers here. Yeah, yeah, I know what their hats look like. I know. They look like the same thing that those guys in uh, Terranigma did. Uh, the Baruga worshippers. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, we got an active time event. Vivi's going shopping. You got any other pointy hats around here? Like one of the white ones all your soldiers have? What is it with soldiers with white pointy hats in these Japanese games? Do they actually have that that organization in Japan? I don't think so. Oh, well there you go. How do they feed them to you? You don't have a mouth. Eh, whatever. All right. How do they celebrate the festival? Oh, well, there you go. Oh, I thought you said you were sold out. Oh, I guess not. Hey, hey, all right. There we go. Oh, animals just running free all over the city. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Whoa. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, okay, well that's uh, everything we can do there. Remember, Vivi got that coupon out there. It's, I don't think it is optional. I think you have to go through that, so there we are. Huh, there we go. Oh, I thought you walked everywhere. Oh, okay, never mind. Hey, how's it going? Okay, so anyway, this is the air cab. You can go to any district of the city. So let's go to the industrial district. Why not? We, I think we go to the castle last. So. But yeah, it kind of reminds me of those, uh, whatever that thing was in Final Fantasy VII that took you up to the uh, gold saucer. Was that a gondola? Eh, whatever they called it. But anyway, it kind of reminds me of that. Let's see what they got over here. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm, I'm happy for your sacrifice. Thanks. Thanks a lot, pal. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see. We could head up there or over here to find a secret treasure. Get a leather wrist. Awesome. Hey, how's it going? It's a pretty big statue. Well, there we go. By the way, a lot of you were saying, H.C. Bailey. How could the Sid in this game be Sid the Ninth? There was no Sid originally in Final Fantasy One. I. I know they put they threw one in there in the uh, Game Boy Advance version, but originally they didn't have it. Well, there actually have been eight Sids before this game. There was uh, what is it? Uh, obviously, Orlando Thunder God Sid from Final Fantasy Tactics. So. There you are. There actually have been eight SIDs. So, there you go. Hey, Gus. Yeah, they seem to have a lot of really nice stuff around here. Okay, let's climb up here, then. Ah, this is where uh, Zidane got his uh, food earlier. Well, there you go. Ah, how sweet. All right, there we go. Engineers seem to really like cats for some reason. Eh, there we go. Now let's see, if we go up here... Ha! There we go. 
you go over here, you can find a bronze vest. A very, well, you know, very important piece of armor, but important enough because it can teach you the jelly ability, which makes you, uh, it gives you immunity to uh, being petrified. So there we go. I don't want to give that to the Zidane because I want someone else to work on that first, but we'll wor start working on that soon enough, viewers, soon enough. You got any new food? Huh? well, there you go. Let me guess, it was just, like, actual beer in the original Japanese, huh? Oh. Sounds vulgar. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I heard you the first time. I don't need to hear more about your pickles. Oh, nuts. Hey, how's it going? Cujo. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, right, we heard about that. What's up? Oh, uh, m m maybe another time. I just, you just gave me some food a while ago. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, is there a way into the back here? I don't think so. I wish there were. Let's see. No, no, no way to get into the back there. I was just saying, I wish there were because you go out here, you see they got that little land bridge connecting there to the restaurant or something like that. So, eh, oh well. I always like land bridges for some reason. Eh, whatever. When I was a kid, I always wanted to be an architect. And then I became an engineer instead. Oh, wow. Oh, really? So this isn't steampunk then, huh? Well, close enough. Huh. Well, there you are. Let's see, what do we got here? Got a mimic card. Awesome. And like all good engineers, we have cats and a steeple head. All right, there we go. Do, am I equipped with anything? I haven't equipped anything new that I got. Um, let's see, well, obviously I want the headgear. And yeah, we'll just stick with that for now. Steel Gill, that ability there is just totally worthless. Uh, pay no attention to that, viewers. You steal like a very, very mo small or modest amount of gill whenever you steal from an enemy. So it's like steal as well, except you get money instead. But now, totally worthless. Pay no attention to that ability. Well, I got a little bit of extra time. I didn't think I was gonna make it this far today, but uh, let's head on over to the theater district. Why not? Is there anything special over there? Oh, well, we got some treasure we can pick up. Why not? Let's head on back to our hideout. That's where the, uh, well, that is where our hideout is. Maybe we'll see if uh, any of the other members of the crew made it back. Oh, yeah, it's just so big, but other than that. All right. I like that. Let's see. Uh, let's see if we go. Oh, no treasure here. Okay, okay. Well, let's check out the theater district then. Oh, and we got another event. The steam engine. Hmm. What's that about? <laughs> Where is this, anyway? Can we actually go here? I think we can. But not until, like, much later in the game. Well, I don't work here. You see, we actually can afford armor where I come from. Granted, our, our armor is rusting out, but it's better than the pointy hats that you guys got. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's right. They said they were still working on that. Oh, well, that's pretty nice. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, there you go. Steiner? Okay. Okay, so now... Okay, I didn't realize we were going to have that ATE, but now I'll explore the rest of uh, the theater district next time! And let's play Final Fantasy IX! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!